Hi guys, here we go again. Tristan, welcome. July. 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 Market been wrap. and gone. Market wrap been and gone. Real quick. Yep. It seems like I was in the chair only yesterday. <laughs> and it was already four weeks ago. Time goes, time it goes does. very quickly, it Tristan, does. as you know. Yep. Middle of winter, but uh, very good. Another yeah. very good month. Well, we're just talking about that, Tristan, yep. that yep. the auctions that we've had in July, uh, and we've had a few in the rain, yep. and obviously windy conditions, hasn't really deterred buyers. No. Because most of our auctions have been well attended, yep. quite a bit of bidding. Yep. And I'll tell you what, Good fun. Very good really fun. Really good fun. Very good fun. So, Just on that, have you had any auctions inside the property? Yeah, we have, Tristan. Yep. And we feel that that works really well. Very good. In the lounge I love room. It. I love Why that. it works well is we've got the heater on. <laughs> nice, you know, nice and warm and cozy inside with the heater on. Everyone's comfortable. You just got to be careful. You don't want the, the windows to steam up. No. <laughs> you got to be careful of that. But other than that, yes, we have had a few yep. and they've worked very yeah, well. No, love it. So love it. I think we'll get talking about yeah, some of the sales. Yeah, you can start. Maribyrnong can start. Yeah. I know you had a, well, Tristan, yeah, yeah well, we had some very exciting auction results. Uh, the first one was number four, Prince Street mm. in uh, in Maribyrnong, which is um, in between Birdwood Street and Mitchell Street. Great pocket. Double, Great yes, pocket. double yeah, front California pocket. bungalow. Yep. Uh, we had four bidders, bidders there at auction, and it sold for 745000 <laughs> So that was uh, very well attended and uh, and a very good result. Mm. Uh, incidentally, we've now actually sold number two, number four, and number I six. I was about to say, you've had, a, you've had a hot run. So we've got Prince the trifecta <laughs> there. We've got the trifecta there of, uh, of the sales in Prince yep, Street, which, yep. uh, which is really good. <laughs> Uh, another good result uh, that we had was also a, a weatherboard home, a period yep. home, number 10 Puller Street, mm. which sold for 525000 yep. which is a very good result, Tristan, quite simply because we've got no off-street parking there. Mm. Now, I know off-street parking in Yarraville, oh. um, you know, is, is tight. <laughs> and with parking meters coming in, it's yeah. only going to go up. Yeah. But in Maidstone, normally, normally you get yep. off-street parking. Yep. So 10 Puller Street, as I said, sold for 525 mm. uh, with that off-street parking, which I felt uh, was a very good result. Yeah, great um, price. And the last one I'm going to talk about is in the Waterford Green Estate. Mm. And uh, we're doing very, very well in the Waterford Green Estate at the moment. Uh, we had number 11 Village Way in Maribyrnong. Mm which when we listed it, we sort of thought around the mid, mid sixes, yep. middle sixes, uh, but we had a bit of competition and our vendor was happy to sell before auction. Beautiful. And we actually sold it on the Friday before the auction mm -hmm. for 705,000. Mm. Um, so as I said, we were <laughs> expecting middle sixes, it, it yep. traveled a bit, uh, and the vendor was very much open to selling before local auction. Local buyers? Do you local know buyers, local yes. Buyers. They actually live yep. down the road. Okay. Um, so they're going to rent that property yep. out, I believe, Beautiful. and, and, uh, and going to be living in this one here. So yeah, it's good to see buyers. sometimes when the local buyers yep. end up getting something because yep. uh, there's a lot of locals getting priced out of the market yeah. at the moment. Yeah. So, so we've been having a, a real good time yeah. uh, in and around Maidstone, Maribyrnong. Obviously, you made a few more for the month, I know, but we want to keep it short on yeah. these videos. Yeah, well, but, it's, uh, it's interesting you say that, and yeah. I will touch on one last one, mm. which I wasn't going to talk about, but I think I will bring well, it up. I only mentioned three, but now I'm mentioning yeah, four. Yeah, I, I will just quickly <laughs> bring it up. No 254 worries. to 256, yep. Eps uh, sorry, Union Road yes, in Mooney Ponds. This morning. Okay, yep. an iconic building. Uh, you've got the bottle shop downstairs and you've got really the residence upstairs. It's got a lot of character, um, but it's pretty run down. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we ended up selling that for 1.3 million. So Union Road in, uh, in Mooney Ponds, a sensational result. And that was only on the market Huge for a couple price. of weeks. Jeez. So, yeah. Private sale, that one? Yeah, or private, private sale. sale. The vendors Beautiful. didn't really want the auction That's there. That's okay. Um, but we well, got it's a great good to result. see, any, you know, any time of method of sale, we can definitely yeah, sell. exactly right. We do prefer the auction method, yep. but you know, we're but always we open. The, we do the private sale exactly. also very well. Very well indeed. So, they're my sales, Tristan. Fantastic. Uh, well, and as you said, obviously yep. we made more sales, but they're the, the highlight. Keep it short, sharp, the and sweet. Highlight ones. Yeah. yeah, just to keep the viewers in, in, in well, we you know, watching. Well, we haven't watching. gone over time for no, a while. No, so, no. We'll keep it short, sharp, and sweet. But yeah, from Yarraville's point of view, another massive month. Um, the market, which I'll bring up in a minute, uh, doesn't show any signs of slowing down. But first, I'll talk about was Rita Galati's sale, 95 Bembo Street in Yarraville. Um, now, there have been a few sales around there, around the low sixes. That was one I, we had the auction inside, which is why I asked you before. <laughs> um, the, the windows weren't fogged up, but uh, Rita was uh, still great, great auction. Ended up selling, we handed it in, but it sold for 861, literally right after the auction. Um, so that was a good start to the that, month. That's a good point, Tristan. Just because, guys, the property passes yep. in, 
That's not the end of the world. Well, pass, pass in 820. Yeah, pass 8 20. it in, bring the highest yep. bidder inside, sit down, have a chat, and yep. nine times out of 10, we'll get a deal exactly. done. Exactly, above so, the vendor's reserve as well, awesome. which is great. The next one I'll talk about is 46 Madden Street in Maidstone, so close to your office there, mate. And great Maddie, result. Yeah, Maddie Alderman, good family friends and of Matthew Alderman. the parcel there was how big? Uh, 670 yep. square meters, but it had the dual, dual street front. Dual Howard Street at the back. Street yeah. as well. Um, so we can't disclose that price there, but I can tell all the viewers it went for a little over a million dollars, yep. um, which was quite a big sale, and we, we didn't have an auction. There was a forthcoming auction. Yep. That one there. And then finally, I'll talk about 54 Albert Street in Footscray. Now, this single one front. here, I love this result. The single front. And I'll yep. tell you why. Um, there was one that sold two doors down about four weeks ago. Very similar property, same land size, uh, with a different agent. And that one there sold for around mid fives. Now, we had our one scheduled in for auction uh, next, or this Saturday, I should say. Yep. Rita Galati did uh, or sorted out before auction there, and we ended up selling, because it's an odd number, $690,651. You want to just repeat that, Tristan? Six hundred and ninety thousand six hundred and fifty-one dollars. I'm glad I wasn't doing an auction. Those numbers there well, would probably stuff me Well, it just shows, Tristan, up. that our sales guys yep. get every last cent for our vendors, yep. which is very, very important. Yep. And yep. we pride ourselves on on our negotiation ability, and yep. that just proves it. Yeah, I think I, I wanted to speak about that because you know a lot of people say it, but it proves in the pudding. Exactly. And there's no better example than Albert Street and the one that sold two doors down, very similar. But you know we're able to exhaust the market for a our, lot more. Our trust accounter might not be too happy with those <laughs> figures, but I'll tell you what our vendors are, and that's yeah, the most important exactly thing. Exactly right. Yeah. The deposit amount there was yeah. a bit odd, as you can imagine. You know, ten percent and do the math. Um, so once again, very good month from both offices. Yep, yep. Um, the one question I've got asked lately, which I'm going to ask you, you mm. don't you don't know about this. I'm putting you on the spot. Um, but a few people have asked me, will the market slow down? Yep. Well, that's a good question, Tristan. Yep. And the answer, in my opinion, is not at the mm, moment. Mm. Now, the clearance rate, it's interesting you say that yep. because the clearance rate between our offices yep. is at 93%. Three for July, okay. 93%. Now, my answer to that is interest rates are still low. Mm. Uh, buyer confidence is still high. Yep. So I can't see it anytime soon yep. slowing down. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Tristan? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Obviously, we're, we're filming this at the start of August mm. and uh, we had some huge results on Saturday, which I won't mention, we'll save it for next month. Yep. Um, but those results there just showed me that really, and I spoke to a buyer on Friday night, a very good client, and they said to me that they've found a lot of people, it uh, really springs now, yep. and they, they said that yeah, from what really, they hear, yeah. there's even really not going to be a spring yep. because of what's happening. Everyone's yep. just selling now, yep. building on that momentum in winter, very, very Makes unusual. Yep. Um, we're certainly not complaining. No. The sellers certainly aren't complaining. Uh, for buyers, it's getting harder and harder, yep. especially for young young couples, first homeowners. Yep. Um, there's someone behind the camera at the moment looking at me, nodding their head. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think if you've got the money at the moment, and especially people from the eastern suburbs yep. that are getting priced out of Baldwin, Campbell, those areas, still good value for money. Maribyrnong, yes, Maidstone, Yarraville, That's Footscray. Right. That's right. You know, 690,000 for a single fronted two bedroom in Footscray. Yep. Unbelievable. Yeah, some good results. Yeah. Now, Tristan, the highlights that we had for mm -hmm. uh, July. Yep. We had our quarterly awards, awards, awards which night. went very well. Yep. We had a dinner at the Station yep. Hotel we in did. Footscray, because again, did. we like to support the locals. Yep. Uh, now Great just, steaks. Yeah, now terrific steaks <laughs> and, and the Bernays. Yes. The Bernays the is, is really good. <laughs> now, let's just quickly yep. go through the yep. categories and the yep. awards. Um, the team player uh, award was won by Adam Gray. Adam Gray, who yeah. is a terrific team player. Yep. Uh, Best testimonial. Yes, was to Paul, Paul Boykos. Paul Boykos, great uh, sale. That's yes. number two, two Street, Street, Street Maidstone. Cracker auction, apparently. Yes, yes. and you got so, a great uh, testimonial from both vendors and purchasers there. Which is what we love. Which we were uh, very Turn happy this paper about. Over, mate. Yep. Yeah. The highest marketing. Well, that went to Nick Metis. The king. And the king. He's the king at that and, <laughs> and was able to get the, uh, the marketing, which yep. I really believe yep. interesting because. I really believe you can't sell a secret. Well, I was about and to say, if you look at his sales, yeah. the marketing he gets, he sells yeah. in Edgewater, yes. the high-end properties, exceptional sh exceptional sales, yeah. gets the most marketing. You need to it's expose the property. Simple exactly right. So exactly right. Nick, Nick got that. Yep. Um, highest fee. Highest fee, yep. Yeah, Matthew Alderman. Matthew Alderman. And then, uh, and then the big one. The big one, yep. salesperson of the quarter, the RT award. Yes. 
Went to, you can announce it, Oh, mate. well, it was, it was joint. Yep. Uh, Simon Gray uh, from Maribyrn and Matthew and Alderman Matthew from Yarrawal. Yeah. So yep. a great effort and it's a very exciting night. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going really I well. I can't wait till the, the next awards. one. Yeah. I think we're going to have a big night, that one. Yeah. I think we need to yeah. let it out a bit because it's yeah. been a big year so far. Yeah. Um, but on a personal note, I'm absolutely pumped That's, for, yeah. for next Wednesday. Yeah. Now, just um, tell the guys, Tristan, yes. quickly what's happening. Yes, so I'm going up to Sydney next Wednesday. Josh Began, we do a lot of training with. As well you done, know, mate. thank you, mate. Congratulations, um, you deserve it. But uh, yeah, so he's one of the, the biggest trainers in Australia yep. and uh, very renowned in the real estate industry. So he has the Change Agent Award, um, which is for people who have approved over the last 12 months. Yeah, just in case, yep. yeah, if guys out there haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. Yes, the so, video yes. that I put in and yeah, Hassan look might at it. show it as well. Yeah, which I think is excellent. Um, so I'm going to go up there and uh, I'll make the, the final where four. you're throwing all the coffees away. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did 12 months ago. Coffees, macas, all over the shop. But yeah. Um, so yeah, the final four, I'm going to go up there and speak in front of 200 people and they all vote. So it's just good to, to tell my story, mate, and uh, get well it out there. Well so done. I'm really excited for that. It'd be great to win, but we'll just see how we go. Fantastic. So looking forward to it. Tristan, I think yeah. we're done. Yes. Guys, yep. we look forward to seeing you in August. Stay warm. Um, Hopefully the Bulldogs keep winning, which is good, and we'll see you in August. See ya. Bye for now.